We usually train at night, but we're training during the day right now. So we got mics. Got my game face on. <laughs> I got my game face on his arms and shoulders. Checking the pump beforehand. They call me Nick Stalker. <laughs> That's what you look like. Today, all right, today, we're going to be teaching you guys how to become better than your peers. And there's three things you need to account for to do that. You need to learn how to blackmail, learn how to evade taxes, and take a shit ton of fucking steroids. And those three things will propel you to the top. All right, guys? Kill it. You want to kill the fucking weights. You want to crush it. Speak towards this thing. Oh, really, really? You're fucking crazy. Oh, man, I don't know how these work, bro. This fucking order. Use this thing. Like, do I hold it? Or I, uh... All right, so... Why you should train with heavy ass weights? Lifting heavy ass weights is to get strong. Strong being strong is literally what separates a man from him. Literal strength is the attribute that allowed men to provide and protect their family for generations. And you're telling me you don't want to get stronger? You need that strength. Shit, if I can, if I'm sacrificing the ability to literally wipe my ass from the back because my biceps are getting so big. It better at least be because I'm getting bigger and getting drunk. Wait, you can't wipe your ass? ass. Yeah, hold on. No. You can't wipe your ass anymore. Your own ass. From the back, it is difficult, yes. <laughs> You're something, man. You literally... That just proves I'm bigger than you. Whatever you say. You're starting fucking Baki or some shit. Bro, I thought they were fucking wrist straps. I bought them and they. I, I spent $40 on this shit. I gotta use it now. 40 beans, you could have spent that on a plenty of other things like... Uh, all star skins, <laughs> clash of clans, gems, or maybe even helping out a homeless person. You know, I bought them, bro. They're pretty. They're pretty useful, and you, I look cool, so it doesn't matter. And I look cool benching 405 fucking pounds too from multiple reps. You want people to be in awe of your strength. Like you come in the gym, you go to a public fucking gym, like you're on your edge, and you benching 405 compared to the average person. You're like Hercules. Optimal lifters and ego lifters and bro science, they all one and the same. Ah, TikTok is literally ruining the foundation. It's spreading mishaps of information, making shit more complicated than it has to be. Somebody could see some shit on TikTok. Somebody could see some shit on TikTok. And they're, they're like, listening. yeah, I, I think that's right. I, th I think I'll follow that. People, I, think I'll, I think I'll follow this plan without even questioning or doing a little bit of research. We've never like shoved information. Just I just tell you what I've done and I'm, I'm telling you what I'm gonna do. The reason why I do it, the reason why I lift heavy ass weights is because it makes sense that the heavier you go and the more reps and the stronger you get, it means you're getting better. It's a straightforward in concept, you know? No, when you get into the science of lifting heavy ass weight, go ahead and tell them about the science, bro. <laughs> go and tell them about the science. It doesn't matter about the science. It's about the intensity of your training. Volume times weight equals intensity. And people be like, oh, Mike, how do I grow my legs? Uh, uh, I can't grow my legs. And then I ask them, like, do you squat? Like, oh, no, I got lower back and knee problems. Fucking hell. You're 19 years old and you got lower back and knee problems? Like, what are you doing? Like, when I hit that bench, there was nothing, like, nothing ever could compare to that because I literally felt anabolic and shit. I felt like a feral-ass fucking dog. Like a dog backed into a corner. I had to hit that shit. I was going to be a failure. I want to be a dog. All right, they piss and shit whenever and wherever they want. All right? They can lick their own balls at command. They can eat whenever they want. You know what I'm saying? They do whatever they want. Oh, yeah. All right, let's get right. Throw some heavy fucking metal, man. Just lift some heavy ass shit. Just have fun with this shit. Just start off with some shoulder press. Get some few, uh, you know, warm up sets, and then we get right into it. Y'all ever seen them like training montages of like fucking J Cut? That's what this is, bro. That's what a trench win video is. It's a fucking training montage. Some anabolic shit. No. This is just our daily life. We do this shit every day. So essentially, you're just looking at daily activities. Look at that fucking arm. I'll never give up! You're counting on me! This is the if it ain't hard by six, forget that shit. We press it today. You're the country. You took my country. You've taken everything! Yeah. Yeah. You see my closest 
So you're the sec you're the second person to go, right? So you re-rack the wig when you're fucking done, because I am racking and do the So it may just make sense, right? I'm not just rather be up like this. And these are the heaviest weights in here, bro. You're gonna have to move on to some heavier weights. Oh yeah. 120 pounds each arm. You know what that means? I'd be able to press an adolescent child, fucking kid, to safety. That's why you should be fucking strong. No, 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 no. We're gonna go do some trap work, and I love traps. My favorite part of my body. Like they're just fucking menacing, bro. You traps just secure menace. their, their fucking. <laughs> the traps secure their nervous system, man. They protect the neck. You know what I'm saying? That's that big ass neck, bro, from just brawl. You know you you got a true brawler on your hands when they got big ass traps, the most menacing shit. Cause you know, them traps were built by repetitive fucking abuse. Yeah. Repetitive fucking abuse. I wanna abuse my shit right now. Let's fucking go. That's the best part about lifting, man. It's sophisticated violence to grow. Bro, this shit is basically cock and ball torture. It's crushing my balls. Yeah. Oh my god. Yeah. It's fucking crazy. More that. I want more. Get that neck rolls, my boy. Get that yeah. neck rolls. If your neck not rolling, bro, you're not doing it right. Yeah. Yeah. I don't want to hear about that shit if it ain't facts. Come on! Push it! Squeeze! Yeah! More! Oh yeah! I want more! Them traps, they can take a lot of abuse, man. I want, I want to get them bigger. Holy yeah. Yeah. fucking yoke. Five, four, three, two. Yeah. Get in there, get back in there. Yeah. There's a fucking gradient, yeah. and you're going to fucking win. Yeah. Let's go. Strength isn't just in the form of physically being strong, but mentally, too. Being able to continue when it gets fucking hard, or accept when you were fucking wrong and learn from it. Holy fuck. Ah, let's go, baby. Come on. I just want to be tatted and fucking jacked. You look heavy as weight for the rest of my life. I mean, 
That sounds pretty fucking good, man. I definitely want to do some jujitsu or some shit, bro. Like one of these days, we got to. They'll always be comparing each other, like to pe other people on the internet. Like, why would you want everyone to be the same? Literally, the thing that sets every person apart is that nobody, one person is alike. So why the fuck would you want me to be like that other person? Why do you want me to be more like someone else? I, I want to be my own individual. And that's why every single person is blessed with their own genetics, their own fucking way of thinking. Not one fucking person is like, and I will never stray away from who I'm meant to be. I'm not changing for nobody. Stop trying to be like somebody else and just be yourself, work on yourself. You know, you can adopt others' thinkings and and things like that and add them to your own adaptation but never try and be someone else always trying to become a better version of yourself lateral raises baby bro you gotta get them shoulders big so your shoulder to waist ratio just fucking nuts you know that's why you get that shit wider lats wider shoulders i've really been hammering my lats and shoulders a lot and it's kind of making my biceps smaller See, because i've strayed away from hitting biceps like three times a week and i feel like now they're getting smaller so i'm gonna go back to that also keep up that high intensity on my back it's not like oh i'm gonna lower the weight and i have like fucking 20 more reps for me i'm i'm like you know for me i'm, I'm not really good on the stamina end so that's just my example of like how i like to try and make it heavier sense. weights yes i am i'm not good on the stamina end of things so even if i lower the weight it's still not like i'm gonna get 12 to 15 reps like with good form so i can get a better a better pump staying in the heavier five to eight range and keeping the form instead of going to the fucking 12 to 15 rep range and getting shitty fucking reps, you know? I imagine all these dumbbells on the ground are the skulls of my enemy. The mentality has to be there. We have to, I think people need to realize that. It's not ah. by chance. To make it happen, you have to will it to happen, you have to want it to happen more than anything in your life. And you're willing to give your life for it. You're not just willing to take it to the top of die, but you're willing to give it that much. Stop. Stop. Don't keep them right here. Don't go any lower. Pause. Pause right there. Let's go. Come on, you got more. Let's go. Pause. <laughs> Some bicep or no? Wanna do rear first? I'm gonna do some biceps. Come on, damn it! We're getting that Show me! Show me! Squeeze it! He's working. That man is working right now. Before you get to the gym, I guess. Oh yeah, you promise yourself that you are not going to go that way. Oh, oh, oh shit, my boy. I would rather die than acknowledge to myself that I'm that loser. I gotta get that good lighting, you know what I'm saying? Which? Huh? You don't need lighting, man. <laughs> I need every advantage I can get, man. Yeah, you're already 5'2". <laughs> uh, Kyle, who's looking more jacked today? Don't be afraid to use the fucking squat rack for your curls, all right? Because you know, biceps just as important. Biceps may be more important than leg day.
Come on, baby. That's it, come on. Come on. Oh, yeah. Come on. Ah. Ah. My bicep. Then we'll go to the, we'll go to the bar. We'll go to the bar and do that. Come on, Mike. That's it. That's it. Come on, Mike. This way. This way. If I can have any big muscle, it'd probably be my fucking arms, because that's the first thing that people notice is those arms, those biceps. It's a party trick. You feel me? You're at a party. You know, but when you see you got big biceps, you're gonna ask you to start curling them. When you start curling them, everybody starts screaming, going crazy, wow. You know what I'm saying? That's how you get the girls. Oh. Oh. What the fuck do I do over here? This is the builder base, bro. What up, G? What's up, bro? You gotta get that second builder, and you can move them over the. If you level, if you level it up enough, you can move it over to the home base. You get another builder. Level this up enough? What are they? Yeah. Hey, is that what you want to hear? Fuck. No, you want to be an IFBB pro, but you don't even have a fucking workout plan. Yes, I do. Bro, fuck you, man. Ah. Fuck you. Yeah. Pump that up. Hit your guts. <laughs> No, out the fucking fuck blue, up. if you ever say some shit. Out like, the fucking blue? Yeah. yeah I'm, fuck gonna, fuck I'm, I'm gonna, gonna fucking your girlfriend. kill you. I don't give a fuck. Okay. I don't give a fuck that you don't give a fuck. I will kill you. I don't give a fuck that you... I don't give a fuck that you don't give a fuck that I don't give a fuck. Frankly, I don't give a fuck. You know, your glycogen stores... I'm getting fucking hungry, essentially. And I'm getting thirsty. And I'm getting weak. So we're just doing a few things, like pushing past the point where you're fucking tired you want to go home and we're still getting it and that's what we're doing i don't know what he's doing actually i think he's getting a snack or something i still got cardio after this shake because I'm gonna be losing gains on that 40 minute drive. You gotta get that insulin working now and that protein synth going. You gotta hit that insulin window. Don't we like have to that. do carbs and or abs and cardio? Where's my shirt? Is that? Yeah. Yeah I mean three. Hold up. Yeah. Oh, I got that legendary card. I gotta get that card out of there. Well, is so slept on, bro. You some of the best protein bars. This 
IHOP's right there. Let's just get IHOP. Bro, no way. No way, I can't. We're still on the cut, bro. Shit. In and out sounds so good. Bro. I've never had it, bro. Fuck. Bro, we gotta get it. We've never had it, bro. I've never had it. We gotta get it, bro. Yeah, I've never had it. Whoa. I'm dead I mean, ass. We've been. I've never had it before, dead ass. I've never dead had ass it never had it, bro. Alright, I know you've had it. I'm being dead serious. Oh, I've. Dude, I've never had it either. Yeah, I've never. We, bro, I lied. know. Bro, we lied. I know both of y'all Look at that line, though. Look no, at that line bro. in that bitch. We literally. <gasps> That's what in and out is out like here, bro. What the yeah, fuck? Yeah, they for sure not going in and out, though. That's crazy. Yeah. They're going out. It's more like never going they're in. They're going out and staying in. <laughs> you know what's going in is fucking high blood pressure. And what's coming out is. That shit. That, you know, Lee Priest said it best, bro. All this shit is like literally genetic. He yeah, said that he ate like shit. Like all McDonald's all the, and everything. Yeah. Yeah. And like his blood work was fine. Yeah, but then again, McDonald's back then was, was actually way better. Real yeah. food. Yeah. No, I, I still think that fast McDonald's food. McDonald's now me. is literally, it's not even fucking like real food. Yeah, it's that pink slime shit. Yeah, it pink slime. And then slime. the bread has literally got so much. That sounds like some man. Fallout 4 shit, bro. Like just some fucking some radiated food that you'd find in Fallout 4. Good, healthy food. Low calorie food. Chicken and rice, exactly what you need after anabolic lift. We're still staying in our calorie range, you know. Go on that cut. They're, they're wild and leaving their food right there. They don't know me, I'll just snatch that shit up. I'll eat they shit. I should, I should teach them a lesson, you know, leaving food out and shit. I'll take double chicken. Oh, yeah, he loaded oh, up, bro. He loaded okay, up. Okay, bro's goaded for that. I can't lie. I can double check it. That was cool. Uh, yeah. This shit way better than Chipotle. He loaded that chicken up, bro. This is an anabolic. That right rice, bro, made out of chickpeas. He's goaded. I know you regret your choice. <laughs> you did get a pita on the side. 